My name is Asia Dalton and I'm studying forest hydrology and biogeochemistry as a part of the Eco-Hydrology Group and UD's Department of Geography. In urban areas, there tends to be a lot more impervious covers, so rooftops, uh, road surfaces, concrete that prevents rainwater from infiltrating down into the soils. So as a result, when you have heavy rainstorms, instead of that water being managed naturally by nature, it tends to pool on surfaces, leading to flash flooding, um, combined sewer overflows, which create really water management headaches for city dwellers and city water management workers. So a lot of effort has been put forth in the past few years to figure out how can we return nature to urban areas, including increasing urban canopy cover, urban tree cover. So what my research tries to do is try to figure out what are some of the best ways to do this by identifying which trees help to manage that water much, much more effectively. So in urban areas, Stem flow is of particular importance because we have all this stuff settling onto the forest canopy. We have atmospheric pollutants from cars, we have industrial emissions, we have highways that cut through cities, and so all of this stuff is settling, as well as natural deposition. And that's called dry deposition. And so the stuff settles in the canopy, and then when it rains, this stuff is washed off the surfaces of the trees. And stem flow is really important in urban areas, again, because it concentrates all that water to a small area at the base of the forest. And how that occurs is what we're trying to uncover. I have five research sites in total. Three are located within the city of Wilmington, one is in the suburbs, and one is in a rural location. Here we're capturing stem flow, which is the water that falls down the trunk of the tree um, and eventually makes its way into forest, the forest soils. What this particular collector is referred to as a stem flow collector, and it allows me to catch the total volume of water that's converted to stem flow on this tree. Uh, once I can, can capture that water in this, con this container, I can measure the volume of stem flow, and eventually I can take samples from whatever's collected here and run samples on the chemistry of that water as well.